Hello everyone, Ethan Ader here with Horizon Hobby and welcome to the third video of the Blade Fusion 700 build series. In this video we are going to be assembling the main head and attaching that entire assembly along with the main gear onto the airframe. So you want to locate the parts bag H1 which will contain the main head assembly, H2 which contains the main shaft, parts bag H3 which contains the swash plate, and H4 which contains the main gear and also the front pulley for the tail belt and then you also want to locate parts bag T which is the entire tail assembly we aren't going to be using anything from this bag except for T1 which is going to be the tail belt and without further ado let's get started it is worth mentioning that the main head assembly main gear and also the swash plate are all pre-assembled with Loctite however it is a good practice to go through each screw and verify that there is Loctite you can do so by using a small amount of force to try to loosen up the screw and if it doesn't want to break loose then you have verified that there is Loctite on it. Again the thrust bearings and the main head assembly are serviceable items and it is recommended that every 150 to 200 flights or so you disassemble the main head, check the thrust bearings and replace if necessary, and then reinstall the assembly with Loctite. Before we attach the main head to the airframe we want to place the main gear and the tail belt in their respective positions. The first step is going to be removing this bottom bolt right here. This is essentially what holds the main shaft to the main gear. Sitting the bolt aside, we can go ahead and place the main gear down. This is where we want to take our tail belt and verify that there are no twists in it and we can route it through the tail boom clamps in the back of the airframe like so. You can also see that the tail belt goes through the tail belt guides right here and we can go ahead and feed it through where we can install it into the respective position on the main gear, just like that. You can go ahead and pull on the tail belt again and seat the main gear into the airframe. At this point, you want to pull the tail belt tight and just give it a look through and make sure there are no twists in the belt. If there are, you can remove the main gear, pull the tail belt out and basically get rid of the twists and repeat this process that you just saw in order to make sure that there are no twists in the belt. You can now locate your main shaft and now is a good time to go ahead and make sure it is greased before you install it onto the airframe. And also keep in mind that the side with one hole is going to be where it attaches to the main gear and the side with two holes is where it's going to attach to the main head assembly. So just make sure that you are installing it the correct way as you see in the video. If you find the main shaft having trouble passing through any of these three bearing blocks, you can go ahead and loosen these two screws on one side and also the other of that particular bearing block in order to help move it a little bit in order for the main shaft to fully pass through. Just make sure that you reinstall the screws and tighten them down with Loctite. With the bolt passing through the main gear assembly and also the main shaft ultimately connecting the two together, you can go ahead and pull on the main shaft up here and see if there's any play up and down between this entire assembly. Now if there are, with the main shaft you will see that included are some shims or spacers right here and you can use those and attach them in between the stopper on the main shaft and in between that and the bearing block in order to eliminate this play. We can now install the swash plate through the top of the main shaft like so, and in order to get the anti-rotation pin into its bracket, we can push the swash plate forward like so, carefully pull back the bracket, and insert the anti-rotation pin into the slot. We can now attach the main head assembly to the main shaft.
One thing that's recommended is to take some chain wax or something of that equivalence and spray down the entire tail belt. This essentially keeps it from getting too dry whenever you install the tail boom. And the last thing to do with the main head and main gear assembly is to set your gear mesh. So with these three screws and these two screws all loosened both on the left side and the right side of the helicopter, you can now move your motor assembly back and forth. And this is where we are going to set the gear mesh. So what you wanna do is push the motor all the way against the gear so you see that there is no play in the gear mesh. And now you want to slightly move the motor assembly back so then there is a small bit of play within the gear mesh. Almost a small click that you can kind of see since it is a bigger main gear, but mainly that you can feel and that's essentially where you want your gear mesh. Once you have acquired this, you can go ahead and tighten down all of these screws on both sides. All right, everyone, and that's gonna cover it for the main head and also the main gear assembly video for the Blade Fusion 700. As you can see with the quick build kit, this is great for anyone who has never assembled a 700 kit before because the main head is essentially already done for you and assembled with Loctite. So whenever you do service these bearings and take apart the head, you have a reference of how it is correctly done the first time. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out the next video where we are going to be installing the tail. So we will see you all in the next one.